Let's unbox and install the Nog Scout bike alarm together. This video is kind of a in-between. I did a quick preview of this Nog Scout, which is a bike alarm and finder using the Apple Find My system. And I am working through testing and getting ready to post a final review of the Nog Scout, but I wanted to show how you can use multiple of these in one app. So I ordered a second Nog Scout to show you how two of them work within the app. So today we're going to unbox, charge it up, connect it on my phone, and then install it on my GSD that's in the stand behind me for service. So Nog did a very, very nice job of making this as sustainable as possible using two ply, you know, double sided cardboard. So it's easily recyclable. All of the hardware is kind of tucked away in this box. So we have the Scout, and then if you turn it over, there are two screws hiding on the sides. So this is the Scout itself hiding under this cover. And then inside is the security tool. Let's get these screws out of the side. So looking at what is included, we have the Scout itself, the cover, if you want it to be a little bit more weatherproof or easier to spot. Special screws that use this tool. And then these washers go under using a bottle cage. This piece of cardboard is just a QR code to show you how to set it up. You'll see that there is no charging cable included, but you're gonna need a USB-C to plug into this little port right here. Let's get this Scout charged up so we can connect it to our phone before installing it on the bike. It does use a USB-C. It takes about four hours to fully charge it from dead. So I'm gonna plug it in, let it run for a little while, get some work done and come back. I've waited as long as I have patience for, I will fully charge this because I do wanna test it in some cold weather to see how the battery life lasts. I am going to now connect it to my phone. Note that this only works on iPhones or Apple iPads. So you're gonna need one of those if you want the Nog Scout. Here's the Nog app, nice and bright. Here is the bike I already have added, my turn short haul, which is right in the other room, so it's pretty close to get connected. Let's add this Scout. So we just click add new, and you can add up to four devices to your app. So you can have four Scouts on different bikes. Here it is. Let's rename it to GSD. If I can type blue, done. So it's asking to pair. There we go. And you can see that the firmware is different. So this needs that firmware update. We're gonna click on it. Update the firmware, update. So the firmware update is a big reason that I recommend to fully charge it before you install it on your bike. But the other reason is if something's wrong with your Nog Scout, you don't wanna go through the headache of setting it up if something's wrong and it needs serviced. I haven't heard of that happening, but I've had it happen with other smart locks and things like that. Sometimes firmware updates can take some time, so I would definitely make sure that your unit is fully charged before you go through this process. Did you hear that? Our update's complete. We're gonna click done. And now we'll just go through the main settings. So we're gonna click those three dots right there. This movement sensitivity, I'm gonna move all the way down because I do lock this bike up at a rack. 
Allow disarm without phone. I'm gonna turn off. Flash LEDs during alarm. Yes, I'm gonna keep that on. Alarm tone. You can just change the ringtone of what you want it to sound like if your alarm's going off. And then I'm just gonna hit this X. So now let's double check that it's working properly. We're going to hold this button and now it's armed. Turn it off. So it's working. I feel comfortable installing it. Let's get it installed. A quick note about the install. On the first version of this alarm that I have, I installed it improperly. I am very used to washers going under bolt heads. So I installed it like this, where you have the bolt and the washer and then through. But these washers are really only to be used if you're mounting it with a bottle cage, which I'm not. So I'm gonna put these to the side. This is my special little tool. And then the last thing I need is a little bit of grease. So it's installed. I mounted it underneath one of my battery harness struts. Hopefully that will be a good location, kind of wedged in there. If my battery is in there, they're definitely gonna have to pull out the battery first to get to it. A few things I'm gonna be testing on this unit is specifically that cold weather. How long can the battery last? If it's under 30, 40 degrees in extreme conditions, like if you live in Minnesota or something like that, I don't see these lasting more than a few days just because of how small that battery is, unless it's somehow plugged into a battery backup or your e-bike system. Let me know what you would like tested out for that last final review, and I'll do my best to cover it in the next week before I get that posted. If you found this helpful at all, make sure to hit like and that subscribe button so you see the final review video when it posts in the next week or two. If you're interested in seeing my first video on the Nog Scout and all the key things that you should know about it, click right here. And until next time, stay well, stay good, and remember to bike more and worry less.